Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the modern day face of racism, according to the city of Detroit. My name is Christina Caramo, candidate for Michigan Secretary of State. And this GOP candidate is on a mission to clean up what she considers to be a political mess. Unfortunately, the city of Detroit has been plagued with election corruption for years. Karamo held a press conference Monday to voice support for a lawsuit against Detroit City Clerk Janice Winfrey and the City of Detroit Board of Election inspectors. At the heart of the lawsuit, the accusations of illegal ballots. The fraud that we've seen occur is creating a situation where the vote is not being secured. And additionally, it's creating a situation where it's making very easy for illegal ballots to be cast. These issues consist of things such as absentee ballots that have no signatures, absentee ballots that have micker lines, and a voter system that is being used that runs afoul of the law. Regarding this reliable vote machine being connected to the qualified voter file, that's a massive concern for Michigan as a whole, not just Detroit. When questioned about the unmonitored drop boxes, the attorney had this to say. We will be issuing um, a statement later with those specific ballot drop boxes that are not being monitored. Fox 2 reached out to Janice Winfrey and the city of Detroit election officials numerous times Monday, and the wait for a response continues. Fox 2 also reached out to Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson, who spoke about the lawsuit in a tweet, quote, I will always work to ensure every valid vote is counted and every voice is heard. My opponent is seeking to have valid votes thrown out and thousands of voices nullified based on nothing but lies. It's egregious. It won't succeed. Democracy will prevail. And yes, we're asking the court to do its job. Those behind this lawsuit say this is not an effort to take away voting rights from Detroiters. The citizens of Detroit are constitutionally entitled to lawfully ran elections. In Lake Orion, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.